Good morning, Mayor of the Police Court. I'm Robert Barnes. I represent Michael Strickland, the defendant and the appellant in this case. One error pervaded the trial court proceedings below. The trial court sincerely believed that the defense of self-defense is entirely objective, that there's no subjective part of it at all. It led to errors in terms of due process issues, surprise witness issues, and venue issues. Well, this case is about someone who asserted their Second Amendment rights to protect their First Amendment rights. And the key is whether the Oregon court is going to recognize and respect a person's right of self-defense and consider their personal life experience and their personal history in dealing with a group that is as violent and as, uh, and as criminal as the Black Bloc is. I think at its heart this is a First Amendment issue and I hope that the judges realize that a person has the First Amendment right to be in a public area filming a public event and that a mob of thugs do not have the right to use force to prevent that person from doing such and that my actions were solely in self-defense on this case. You cannot rely upon prior historical facts that again have no logical connection to to the immediate circumstances that are at issue to, to affect the reasonable assessment of, of the present circumstances. 